All right, so the vacuum in front of me is one that really surprises me with how uncommon these are. The lineup it comes from is extremely common, but the model itself, I don't think it is. Because I think my old channel was the only video of this exact model. I wouldn't say it's rare, because it's a Bissell. Bissells are not rare, unless it's those really old direct air ones. But I've never seen this exact model of the clean view one pass anywhere else. So this is the Bissell Clean View Rewind Pet Multicyclonic. Um Let's take a look at the model number on this. As you can see, the hose spring has some bad kinks in it. This is model 7636, and it was made in 2013. Uh, the only attachment this has right now is a wand. It originally comes with a turbo brush, but it does not have it. And the turbo brush has rubber wipers instead of bristles on it. So, the story behind this is uh, a cleaning lady that I know because my mom has connections had this with her cleaning business. It it was the main cleaner until a couple of years ago she has an entire fleet of sharks now which is kind of a downgrade in terms of a lot of things so which i get her sharks in every so often and it's <laughs> but this used to be her main go-to for big jobs. As you can tell, it is still in one piece, so it is held up a lot better than some of the other stuff that she's had. Yet, it's sitting in my basement because she didn't want it. So, I have it. And it is... I've used it for a little while when I first got it. And now it's just been sitting in the back corner for a very long time. But now I decided to bring it back out, um, do this video, and then clean it up, and I might just end up selling it, because I don't care how uncommon this particular model is, It it's done nothing for like a year and a half, two years. So... It is a Bissell. It is the multi-cyclonic clean view. Of course, there most of the clean views are, but if I'm being honest, if I can even get this stupid thing open. There we go. As you can tell, these cyclones are not very good at their job. There is dog hair all over this filter so it is not something you would buy if you had allergies uh. 
They are not good at filtering. They are not good at being sealed. The, as you can tell, these filters get pretty nasty. Uh, the cord rewind works, but it could be wound back a little bit so that there's more tension on the spring. You got a 5 position height adjustment and a dual action brush roll. You've got white bristle strips that are fairly soft. And purple bristle strips, also fairly soft. As you can tell, the bristle length alters between every other set of bristles. They are meant to fit this gray and white and off purple color scheme. Oh yeah, I forgot to show. There's this little foam piece down here that's for like the air relief valve or something like that. Uh, don't understand the purpose of it. <laughs> uh, it has not good suction and airflow, and the agitation is really bad. I just compared the agitation to the Boss SE, which, even though it's a very great deep cleaner, it does not have that much agitation compared to that simplicity and yet is still outbeat this Bissell despite the fact this Bissell has beater bars or rug bars or whatever you want to call it. Suction and airflow is to be expected to not be good on these. They are not meant to be powerful despite the fact that it has a 12 amp motor uh, It's not very sturdy, but it's definitely held up better than some of the lady sharks that she's had especially the nav the rotator I threw away which after only a few months has had a dead motor and a ton of plastic bits were broken and missing so this has definitely held up better than the sharks that she's had. But it's a 10-year-old vacuum. And it's abyssal, so durability is not their strong point. Yet somehow this thing, you know, handle release still works. Everything is still in one piece, kind of, except for the base plate, which is really chewed up. Uh, after you use it for a little while, something in the electrical system starts putting off a very loud hum. You know that American 120 volt electrical system buzz that you hear when you start the microwave? It sounds a lot like that. So, I'm gonna give a little demo. Uh, the cord is not that long, but that's to be expected for a vacuum with a rewind function. But it is really quiet, and I like that, so... So it did get a little fuzzball out of it, but that's not a lot for this carpet, seriously. Especially in the little amount I just cleaned. Eureka's with wooden brush holes would probably do better. Well, actually, not probably. They definitely do better. But this is a very 
budget machine, so I'm not surprised. Uh, this exact model is not available, but there are still Bissell Klingus out there, so should you buy one? I think no. They're cheap. They don't clean that good. Don't have a lot of suction power or airflow. And the filtration is not that great. But apparently they're more robust than something like a Shark or a Dyson. Uh, acknowledging the fact that this was used in a cleaning business for about seven years. Maybe six. I don't remember when I got this. But yeah. So, it's not that great. It's around 6 out of 10 for vacuums. It's really unenthusiastic. But, it's better than uh, some of the other stuff you can find today, like a Shark or a Dyson. So, there you go. That's my view. So, I'm Jax Vax and Safety, signing off. See you in the next video.